In this video, I'll be talking about natal Gemini Sun in the sixth house and what this placement means for you when it is in your chart. And with that being said, what the sun represents in astrology is it represents our ego, the quality of our actions, and what motivates our actions, most importantly, because it rules Leo, which is the fixed fire sign. Fixed signs are about a constant state of being. Fire is about action or energy. So Leo shows a constant way of acting or a constant level of energy. So that's what our sun is also about. Is it, It's just about how we constantly tend to act and how our actions therefore come across to others as well. So others pick up on our sun sign a lot. And also our sun sign shows how we shine in the world, how we are seen, but also our energy levels. Um, it's also things that we're passionate about. So first of all, when the sun is in the sixth house, this shows somebody that's passionate about their lifestyle or their routine and maximizing their efficiency or their productivity. When it's in Gemini, which is all about the mind and circumstances and opportunities, this shows somebody that adapts to their lifestyle and to their, they adapt their lifestyle and their productivity in clever ways. Also, both the sign Gemini and the sixth house are ruled by Mercury. So this to me shows somebody that has a, a sharp mind, somebody that's intelligent, somebody that's clever and whose actions are always motivated by some sort of thought. And particularly for you, if you have this placement, it's motivated by an, adapt, an adaptation to a certain task or variable or like goal that you have because the sixth house is all about tasks and it's all about work efficiency or productivity it's also about logistics because it's all about factors that matter that are changing things such as like prices things such as time um, things such as details as well like it's all it's it's the sign of virgo so it's very detail oriented and perfectionistic so these people have a very qualitative mind or like a perfectionistic mind but it's also very adaptable. Um, for the most part, how you come across other, others is you come across as intelligent and logical. And especially you come across as like very mentally accurate, sharp or on point. Um, so really to shorten that, you know, you will just come across as intelligent and mentally on point. Um, just the way that you act or express yourself demonstrates attention to detail especially in a logical sense because gemini is about the mind so a lot of times you come to conclusions in like a very factual or like a very um refined way i can't think of the other word that i wanted to use um but um i guess precise way is a good way to put it but um yeah it can show somebody that's a very precise communicator you're also good at communicating in a way that aligns to other people's perceptions as well because the sixth house is in the twelfth house from the seventh house the seventh house is about the perceptions of others and it's about being relatable so the twelfth house is about the subconscious mind of others and how they're perceiving things and how their imagination is so another thing about this placement is it indicates somebody that is a good conversationalist how could you not be with a son that is ruled by both signs of mercury mercury is all about communication and it's the messenger as well but particularly these people will be good conversationalists because they like to pick people's brains they like to ask good questions but they also just read other people very well because again the sixth house is about the unconscious of others and it's about attention to detail um you know the final thing about this placement is they show somebody with really refined specific or particular ideas um, their ideas are very detailed and they're very uh, precise and they have a very intentional outcome and they're well adapted to current circumstances their ideas are always about a clever way to achieve efficiency or achieve a most productive outcome because the sixth house is again about productivity um, and ultimately it's about lifestyle as well. It's about our routine, our day-to-day -day habits. So these people have an adaptable lifestyle or routine 
and they have like an opportunistic tendency about those things so they they love like hunting for deals for example like ways to save money um they like to uh be clever about how they do their routine um and a lot of times they're they can be quite ambitious as well they like to think of new ideas to achieve certain tasks or to become more successful or to improve their lifestyle so with that being said that summarizes what i wanted to talk about for the sixth house sun in in gemini so i hope that this resonated and if you did enjoy this video and you saw yourself in any way then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content with that being said if you would like a nato chart reading covering all of your placements um, and your north node in a personalized video format then check the link in my description to my patreon where i do a free nato chart reading for each of my jupiter tier patrons which is my higher tier um i also have an email in my description if you'd like to contact me that way to book a reading and um, in the reading i cover basically all your placements and your north node which is your destiny and i talk about your talents your career and your uh, general personality so if that interests you definitely check those out um, and with that being said i'll talk to you guys sometime soon in another video peace